think we're facing an economic environment that none of us have faced in our working lifetimes. We had a 30 point drop in five months. That's what's unprecedented happening just as the new pension funding rules uh, were coming into play. And back then, you had a much longer time to fund your plan under the rules, and it didn't hit your balance sheet. The old 60-40 model really doesn't work today. It's uh, as severe as it gets. The volatility in the stock market, in the capital markets, in the debt market, various indices in the stock market have seen 50% drops uh, uh, two times in the last nine years. It makes it very difficult to invest assets if you're, if you're a pension plan manager, if you're responsible for a pension plan. Uh, the Milliman 100 Pension Funding Index uh, shows that the 100 largest defined benefit plans funded status dropped from about 105% to 75% in a matter of about four or five months. In the old days, you could just let the assets run and not pay any attention to the liabilities, and that's not the case any longer. Um, you know, there's a lot for CFOs to be worried about. Two thousand eight uh, saw a whole rewrite of the pension funding rules. The Pension Protection Act requires plans to fully fund their plans within seven years, and then at the end of two thousand eight, we get hit with a thirty percent drop in the markets. Uh, plans that were close to fully funded and saw minimal increases in their contributions under PPA now saw a drastic increase in their requ contribution requirements starting in 2009. It's not been a pleasant experience for fund sponsors because it's dramatically impacted the uh, level of contributions that they've had to make after they really had been on quite a contribution holiday for decades going into that. What we need to get CFOs and CEOs focused on is the interplay between assets and liabilities. The liabilities are much more like a long bond, you know, moving up and down as interest rates move down and up. And getting a longer exposure to longer duration bonds in their portfolio can help reduce the interest rate risk. You can still maintain uh, an expected return on assets, so you can reduce your risk without taking a hit to your balance sheet or your, or, or your P&L. In 2002, when the market dropped and our assets dropped by 25%, it was a sick feeling and a harrowing experience. We went from a high point of 650 million down to 450 million. So it was about a 25% drop in the assets. And our funding level went from 125% of assets over liabilities to 80 percent. Once your funded status drops below 80 percent, participants get impacted in that they can't take full lump sums under their plan. The markets had gone down and we went with all the other pension funds. So we turned to our investment professionals, Milliman and our investment consultant, to find out what were the primary risks to our plan. And we found out one was the interest rate, which was dictated by the Pension Protection Act, would be fluctuating, so any movements there would affect our liabilities. And the other was our equity risk. So we tried to manage those two risks, which led us into the LDI strategy. We find that CFOs who have adopted this strategy can really sleep well at night because they know that the assets and liabilities are tied together and there'll be um, little to no surprise. You want them moving in tandem as much as possible so that even though you might have an asset decline, your liabilities might decline also, so the hit to the balance sheet is minimized. We had been overfunded just a few years earlier, and we said to ourselves then, if we ever get back to that position, we're going to do things differently. In 2006, we found ourselves overfunded again, and we embraced an LDI strategy. Drops in the markets and the movement of the interest rates were unprecedented. Uh, but there's a big difference between going from 105% funded to 95% funded and dropping down to 75 or 70% funded. In 2008, we're reading in the trade papers how all the other funds are dropping by 25% just like we had a few years earlier, but this time we held up because the LDI portion of our portfolio kept our assets in line. A 
If you're waiting eight months to get a report on the asset and liability structure of your plan, it's ancient history by the time it's delivered. What CFOs need to take action on is current, end of the month, end of the quarter. The pension performance dashboard does that. So by developing the dashboards and giving, to them, giving them information on a monthly basis, we take that issue off the table altogether. It's easier to understand where you've been, easier to understand where you're going, and what is happening in between. We're more up to speed and constantly reviewing our strategy and we can take faster action and rebalance the portfolio to help reduce our risk. Pension funding will be volatile. Volatility is here to stay. And looking at an asset liability study and seeing what the risk of your asset and liability structure your pension plan is, is basically required for any CFO to make intelligent decisions about their pension fund investment going forward. Turning the pension plan from a liability to an asset by managing that volatility gives a company a competitive advantage. We finally have a way, a means, to manage them much better today than we ever could before.